Jared Poland Fronos Photo. Dot com here with a 30 for 30 Lightroom head-to-head -head edition where I have Richie. Richie, what's going on? How you doing, man? I'm doing well. These videos are brought to you by the fine people over at Adobe. And if you are looking to follow along for this 30 for 30, go to fronosphoto.com slash LR3030. You can also download all the DNG files that we will be editing so that you can try it out yourself. And if you don't have Lightroom yet, well, you can download a free trial right there on the site so you can play with all of the raw files for this 30 for 30. Richie, are you ready to get editing? Let's do this, man. All right, let's see the DNG file this time. Oh, I'm a cute little bug. Look at that. I like to just sit here and look at the image before we even start. This looks like it's gonna make for a great, thick, contrasty image. Again, I'm gonna close this uh, tab over here so that I can see this larger. I can actually close this down here. I can get it larger as well. And if I need to get my history, I could always go back over there. First things first, I like to do this. You know me, boomify, contrast, and then yes, I come back with that. Just playing around to see what we've got. That's nice. Oh, look at, the, look at this. This is a great macro shot, Nikon D7100. You can see that the eight trillion eyes that the thing has, uh, the fly are nice and sharp. Just seeing which way I want to go with the color. Just a little warmer. Right about there. All right, that's with my tint. With this, I can probably play with the clarity a little more. Let's see if we can... Don't like doing too much with the shadows. There we go. White, bright, use the... Not the light bright, use the white just a little bit. All right, I got the white balance, just tweaking around a bunch of different things to see what I like. Is this worthy of a crop? Are those leaves too green? Remember, if the leaves you think are too green, under the saturation, we can pull them back. What if I want them even more vibrant? I can go ahead and pump them up like that. I can also come into my vibrance. Ooh, yeah. This is going extreme. That's a little bit over the top, but it, it is nice and punchy. I like Punchy McPuncherson. It's like you want to just punch it right in the face. Let's see if a crop would do any good. See, I actually like the way that it shot. I don't really want a crop because what I like that the photographer did is they kept this leaf in there. This is not directly in the center of the image, so it's still off to the side. If the bug was right in the middle, I think that would have caused, it wouldn't feel as right in terms of composition. This is a cool thing about editing and bringing up the crop tools. You see the rule of thirds, you see the grid, and you get to, you get to not just second guess yourself, but learn from the composition that you had, then use the crop tool to your advantage to learn about future ways that you can shoot things. I don't crop, I've said it a million times. I don't do it because I don't wanna get stuck second guessing myself on every single picture that I take. But when you're first starting out, change your composition around. Move in tighter and say, oh, I could have done this and it would have given me a better composition so that when you go and shoot again, you can think about that composition so you're not cropping in post. So I'm not even gonna crop it. I like where this is going. Would a black and white work? Not at all. Don't even think about it. It's not good. I don't like it. Let's see what the highlights. This is good. This looks good. Boom, boomify it. Let's go back and see where we were initially. Using my history to go back. Wow, look how flat it was. And then let's see what it is right now. And boom, super cool. I like this edit. I'm curious to see your guys' edit as well. Don't forget you can download this DNG file and all of the others from the 30 for 30, but let's see how Richie is making out. All right, let's check this out. Oh, cool. That is super pretty. What are we gonna do with this guy? Right, let's get right into it. Develop module. All right, right off the bat, I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna pump up the exposure a little bit. One of the cool little shortcuts you can do whenever you're highlighted over anything is shift up goes up 0.1, shift down goes up or goes down 0.1. So that's a nice little tidbit if you're a keyboard user like I am and you, you end up shift tabbing around. We're just gonna pump the highlights up just a hair. We're gonna pull the shadow. Actually, let's open the shadows up. We're gonna go the opposite on this. We're gonna crunch the blacks back down. I want to keep some of those shadows. 
So we're going to do that. We're going to open our whites up a little bit. Let's crunch it down a little bit. We're going to get strong contrast on that. And then we're going to go ahead and just pull our darks back just a little bit and open them back up in shadows to crunch them back in clarity. So here we go. We got clarity. Now it's getting a little bit too crunchy for my liking. Starting to look a little bit oversaturated and a little bit over contrasty. I liked how, how muted the tones were in the raw file compared to where it is now. So we're just gonna re-put contrast there. And we're gonna get down, we're gonna throw a little vignette on this. Make the midpoint nice and small so it's a nice gradiated vignette. Just your eye goes straight into it. And we're actually gonna crop part of this out over here on the left side of the frame. We press the R key that goes in the quick crop. I'm gonna keep the original dimensions. I'm just gonna bring it down there. I'm gonna put it right in the center. And you'll notice we have that little bit of dirt up there in the top right from the, uh, not actual dirt, but from where we cropped. So we're just gonna go ahead and puncture that out. Let's find something nice and gradiated. Make sure our feather is real nice and high so it looks natural. And I get rid of that. And we're gonna go ahead and put a little bit of saturation back in. I think I pulled it back a little bit too far. And now we're gonna go down. It's getting a little noisy. So we're gonna go ahead and throw some, some luminance back in the noise reduction here. Pump it up and make it nice and soft on there. A little bit more in the detail, a little in the contrast. Color doesn't look bad. Smooth it out a little bit. Cool. All right, so we've exchanged files. I have Richie's, he has mine, and it's time to see both of our edits. You ready? Let's do this, man. Here we go. Three, two, one, and... Oh. Victory. <laughs> you went the opposite way. I know. I, 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 actually, now that I see yours on the right and mine <laughs> on the left, I would love to split the difference yeah. and see, because I went extra boomified. Yeah, I went, I, I went a little flatter. You know, I was, I was channeling Tony. Yeah. It looks, it looks, uh, did you crop yours in tighter I did, too? I did, I got rid uh, of that left, that, that uh, extra branch on the left was bothering me, it was distracting. Right, and then, yeah, I mean, yours is almost lacking all contrast whatsoever. Yeah, I, I really flattened it. I opened up the, the mid-tones a lot just to get a little more detail so you can see like on his legs, like the, the little hairs and stuff. Oh, you can see the little hairs on his leg? Yeah, it's just. Yeah, you can. That's cool. That looks interesting. I like yours, I, it's, it's it's very dynamic looking with that extra contrast and the saturation just like coming at you. Yeah, part, part of the reason I did that and I talked about it with my edit was you can, with people, vibrance and saturation doesn't quite work. Right. Because you can over, they start to get all glowy. Right. And, and that doesn't work. Well, glowy, the wrong type of glowy. And in this case, with a bug, with a, with a fly, you can pretty much do anything. And then I brought up the greens. I was like, I want more green. And so I pumped those up. But not too far. No, it looks good, man. Right. So th this is, again, the thing with raw editing. Richie went muted. I went boomified. Somewhere in between may be better or it may not be. That's why you can go download this DNG file yourself and try your hand at it. How would you edit it? Who do you think wins this one? Jared or Richie? Leave a comment down below. It doesn't really matter who wins, though. I think we both like winning. Uh, if you want to play with this raw file, head over to fronosphoto.com slash LR3030. You can download this DNG as well as all of the other 30 for 30 files up there on the site. And if you don't have Lightroom yet, you can download a free copy of it, put this DNG file in it, and give it an edit. And that's where we'll leave it. Jared Poland, fronosphoto.com. See ya.